Welcome to the enchanting city of Amsterdam, where the past meets the present, and the vibrant spirit of the Dutch people fills every corner. Today, we'll take you on an unforgettable journey through the top 10 things to do in Amsterdam. Get ready to explore this cultural gem and create memories that will last a lifetime. Number 10. Central Station. This central station is the main railway station in Amsterdam and the largest in the Netherlands. It is primarily a great transport hub and can provide direct transport to Schiphol Airport, but it is a stunning building in its own right. The station was first opened in 1889 and was created with a Gothic, Renaissance style and an immense cast iron roof. The front facade looks more like a palace or a cathedral than a station with its towers and stone reliefs. Number 9. Red Light District. Although not to everyone's taste, the red light district is part of what makes Amsterdam famous and it is a great idea to visit this part of the town, just to see what the fuss is about and the often bizarre shops and displays that you can find here. Otherwise known as De Wallen, the district is located in the center of Amsterdam around the Damrak Canal. Take a walk down the streets and see the variety of shows, shops, and the infamous cannabis cafes. Always take precautions and keep your wits about you. Although this area is highly policed there are some less than reputable characters so keep a close eye on your belongings. Number 8. Dam Square. This is the main square in central Amsterdam and lies only a 10-minute walk from the central station. The square was built in the 1400s and has been a central point for the city ever since. On the square you will find the amazing Royal Palace which is a brilliant destination in its own right, the national monument that pays tribute to fallen soldiers, the new Kirk Church which often contains art exhibitions, and a selection of architecturally rich hotels and shops including a Madame Tussauds waxworks. Number 7. Vondel Park. This fantastic park is an absolute pleasure to walk through on a summer's day and is a haven in the center of Amsterdam. The park lies on the edge of the canal rings and is close to the Rijksmuseum and the Heineken experience. The grounds of the park are well tended and there are several small lakes surrounded by trees and sculptures that the locals and tourists of Amsterdam sit by and relax. Free concerts are played here at the open-air theater and you can also hire a bike to cycle through the many winding paths. Number 6. Rijksmuseum. Another of Amsterdam's fine museums, the Rijksmuseum has it all. A stunning building that has a similar design and style to the central station, a huge collection of crafts, art and history dating back as far as the 1200s and also the amazing I Amsterdam sign that stands outside on the art square. The museum contains over 1 million objects in total, of which only 8,000 are on display, that's still a large amount. Displays include paintings from the Dutch Golden Age, the stern of the HMS Royal Charles and a dedicated Asian pavilion. You could spend hours in this delightful and eternally interesting establishment. Number 5. Van Gogh Museum. Vincent Van Gogh is one of the most renowned and intriguing artists in history and the museum that holds his namesake is a fantastic place to learn about the man and his works. The museum is located not far from Vondelpark on Paulus Potterstraat and in close proximity to the Rijksmuseum. This extensive art museum contains a huge amount of paintings from Van Gogh together with select collections from other artists such as Monet and Matisse. Aside from the stunning artworks, there are also a selection of letters and drawings and also information about why he is such a renowned and iconic figure. Number 4. Emperor's Canal. This is one of the main canals in Amsterdam and is named after Emperor Maximilian of Austria. The Emperor's Canal is the central of three of the main waterways that form the semi-circular ring around the centrum and old town. The canal is 31 meters wide and in winter, the waters often freeze and you can skate along the ice. This stretch of canal is one of the most beautiful in Amsterdam. Trees line the water, opulent bridges cross the water and are lined with many bicycles and the buildings that run parallel with the water have a typical Dutch style with gabled roofs and a myriad of colors. Number 3. Canal Boat Tour. This might be considered a cliched touristic thing to do, but you simply cannot go to Amsterdam without taking a boat tour on the canal system. The canals are one of the main reasons that Amsterdam is so famous, so why not experience them firsthand on a guided tour? The majestic waterway that runs through the centrum in Amsterdam stretches for miles and creates many stunning parts of the city such as the Emperor's Canal and its beautiful architecture. There are many boat tours, but the most notable one is run by Greyline and has collection points and ticket stands in the Damrak Canal near the train station. Number 2. Heineken Brewery Tour. Home of the famous brew, 
Amsterdam presents the Heineken Experience which is a really fun-filled attraction where you will both learn about the brewing process and also enjoy a couple of cheeky drinks. The tour section takes you through the brewery and shows you how the drink is created. You get to see the large hops tanks, taste the pure alcohol and watch the beer being bottled. There are also many cool historical artifacts from the history of Heineken such as different beer mats. Number 1. Anne Frank House a trip to Amsterdam is not complete without visiting this historic house. Anne Frank was a girl who hid from the Nazis during World War II and left an extensive diary that has been punished worldwide and provides a look at what it was like for the Jewish people during this troubled and dark period. The actual building where Anne and her family hid not contains a museum dedicated to her and inside you can find reconstructed rooms, many artifacts from the time in the original house, and even a reconstructed bookcase that was used to hide the entrance to the secret annex the family hid in. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe to our channel for more travel guides and exciting destinations.